Legend of Total War here with part 4 of my Hearts of Iron 4 Let's Play campaign as Poland. So previously we defeated the Comintern faction and uh, annexed the entirety of the Soviet Union. Now we've uh, got plans for dealing with China. Now, just looking at certain issues, um, oh, hang on. It's just, I think, yeah, we've got supply issues over here. We can't start the war until, we'll even start justification, not until we've got our supplies under control. So, let's have a look. Now, is anything still needing repairs? So yeah, Mongolia still needs some repairs, so let's speed that up. So that won't take long to repair it. Um, but we could also, I guess, improve it. I mean, we're, we're only building oil, which we don't even need anyway, so let's max that out there. And everywhere that's on the border, because supplies are important. Doesn't take long to build infrastructure. Yeah, it might also be in our favour to build some forts along here as well. Just because, you know, the, the Chinese do have a lot of troops. And we want to wear them out as much as possible first. At minimal cost to us. There's no rush on this war. We will, we will, I reckon we can get this whole war done in this episode. But we've got to start with this. So, we'll, we'll do two fort levels in each region. That borders them. We don't really need, need, need to hold that. That is fine. It might even... Oh, hang on. There's already four levels. We'll, we'll build two more. It doesn't matter. Good old Russians did us a favour. So, since we don't need to build any more military factories, why not? There's a lot to gain, but also a lot to lose if we, uh, if we do badly against China. Um, I think what I might actually do is delete these and just redistribute them as I see fit. See, we've got like 16 men there. That's no good. Um, redistribute them along here. There's like hardly anything there. Sometimes I think front lines can be really stupid. Okay, looks like the supplies here. That's opened up, so no more attrition at least. There's not that many more national focuses left to do. Oh, look at that, we're getting plus 61 civilian factories because of exports, so that helps. Yeah, closed economy would actually be a very bad idea for us right now. Yeah, it doesn't take long to construct. It's not crucial that we build these right away, although we should probably lower the priority of, of these. Since that's already started, just let him finish. Alright, let's keep going. And while we're sitting here in peace, the uh, the Axis and Allies forces continue to grind up against each other. See, do we really need that many troops? Protecting against... Well, it's fine. See, regions where we've only got like one... You know, we need to have like three or four in every region. That's what we want to do. 
So I just wanted them to auto assign them here. See, that's too many. this a little bit better because it's just it's not good why the hell are you just sitting there not enough troops in this area we've got enough manpower we can certainly recruit some more troops maybe i'll do that so i want to make any more adjustments let's have a look here maybe with We've already got well, anti-tank recon company, maybe. Don't need anti-air. I don't think the the um, I mean that only like reduces our strength. Well, it's probably because of the the anti tech stuff that would have a big crap. All right, so let's let's train twenty units. Up here, just because it's a very a very wide border. We want to make sure we're, we're sufficient because the, the the Chinese will outnumber us. We just have a better economy than they do. Yeah, let's get started on the new king. Or at least start researching it. Okay, I want more men. Over here. I'll redistribute them once they're in the position. I reckon if we can get it so that we've got at least three in each region on the borders, then we can declare war. Just let them grind up against us, just like we did against the Soviet Union. So, we finished with this. So that's, that's all done now. So let's focus on planes. I've got a heap of convoys. Maybe we should start making a navy. We're gonna need strategic bombers if we want nukes. So let's get started with some of this stuff. I know that's not a strategic bomber, but it doesn't matter. Just as in, just get the bombers done. So, be, like I said, three in each region. That's what we want. Take a while to get all that organized. But like I said, there's no rush. No one's coming after us. Now, the only thing I need to do for the campaign is defeat Germany. But we've got to make sure we're ready for it. Germany is still an absolute powerhouse, much stronger than the Soviet Union. And they haven't particularly been weakened just yet. Our factories keep going up. I think people are importing from us. Getting those resources. It fluctuates. So by conquering China, 
How many how many uh, extra factories will we get out of them? There's only civilian factories that I care about now. 88 extra civilian factories. So their overall manpower in reserve, 8,820,000. 8, They're only on volunteer only. But look at this. They're producing an absolute ton of troops. But here's the thing. it's uh, If they can't actually equip their troops, it doesn't matter. There's no way they've got the resources needed to uh, import all that stuff. We have three units in each of their regions. They could send ten at each of each of our positions, and they would still fail. I guess we'll get another one after this, we'll get 40 additional units. I mean, we've got the manpower for it, so it's not a big deal. Um, also, also, um, these here, they're not... They haven't been standardized, so I'm gonna disband them. I should have two Mountaineer troops. The infantry can fight well enough. On their own. In mountains. Just help me to keep things a little bit tidier. More tidy. Alright, so all of this line over here is all good. Up until here. But that river crossing there, that's going to be a nightmare for China to cross. Thing is though, this, this territory here, it doesn't even belong to China. They're only occupying it right now. Although, since they've got foreign claim on it, um, they don't actually don't have any penalties because it's all Chinese in the, that area. Okay, all across this line here, that looks pretty strong. Hang on, is it? Reasonably. So we've got forts, help, let me see here, construction. Oh, all the forts have already been built. Holy crap, that didn't take very long, did it? Oh, well, actually, we've actually been going a lot faster than I thought. Not aggression pact, no. Okay, if we could just get the troops over here. It's, I mean, it's not all... Oh, actually, there's a few over here that need to sort out. Can't have one unit, because they can easily get overwhelmed. Yeah, we need to sort out this here. All of that there is good. I suppose we just wait. Once the, once the new recruits show up, that'll sort it out. Well, since we built all that stuff so quickly, maybe we can go and build, build some more fort levels. I mean, we don't really need to, though. Yeah, don't bother with it. What's this one doing? How long does it take to build the oil? 13,000. So it does actually take a little while to build that. Ah, uh, nuclear reactors. Let's start building some of those. Build them in the central area so that they can't be bombed by anyone. That's going to take a very long time to construct, but that's fine. I'm going to try and get ahead of it before anyone else does. So if we've got 559 factories, how many does the US have in total? Oh god, they've got more than us. The US is so overpowered in this. That's okay. Stupid AI. They, they waste their resources. And if, if they're at war with the 
with the Germans. They're probably throwing a lot of their troops away just trying to get in there. And they're just getting wiped out. Just let that war keep going. I mean, the historical end of World War II, well, at least for the Germans to surrender, is, um, is approaching. But they're not actually going to surrender. Alright, so... To make sure we have sufficient units across the border. Okay, all of that looks good. Over here. Three, 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 three. Two, okay, someone over there. The thing is, they've got to cross that river. These ones here might need a few extra units. Shortcut B, okay. Oops. Okay, where else? It's kind of funny how we declare war and then we play defensive just to begin with, just because the AI just they're super. Oh, hang on, over here. I think I've already sent guys over there, but just send a few more. Maybe that there is going to be a difficult position to defend because they could hit it from a lot of regions. It might even be best not even bothering to hold it because it's, just, it's not worth. It. I shouldn't have bothered building anything there. We're so much better off just concentrating on these here. Okay, with that. I'm I'm confident to declare war on on them, but we need to justify it first, but it shouldn't take very long. Twenty days, that's nothing. And we just sit there and wait. Once they've not necessarily worn out their manpower, but once their all their armies have like no equipment. Just like with the Soviets, we were badly outnumbered. When they had no equipment, that's the time to, to attack. We're sure to have better uh, equipment than them. Especially now that we've got all these these forts here. Okay, I really don't need to be researching that. I might, I might not actually. So let's have a look at Germany again with their division, see how they're going. So they've scraping the barrel, their their numbers have actually been increasing. Fourteen million in reserve. So they're not likely to, to run out anytime soon. That war could go on for another bloody twenty years. Cause it was the um, it was the pressure of low manpower and being pushed from both the east and the west that caused Germany to crumble. Without any pressure on the east, they're able to handle the west. Alright, slow this down. Oh, achievement. Poland can into space. Well, that's great. Is that Norway? Declare war for everything. Okay, so they dragged a bunch of people in, but they weren't. They didn't get any guarantees from anyone. Alright, decline. No, 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 no. Alright. See if they make any attacks. So, Norway, have they joined Axis? Yeah, they've become fascist. They'll, they'll probably end up joining Norway. Um, joining, yeah, Axis. Which that'll be, that'll be different for the Allies to have to deal with. Alright, so what's going on over here? Just, yeah, just stay fortified. 
Wait for them to make the, their, their attacks. Axis. They're not making any attacks. Oh, here we go. Hostilities have begun. Excellent. So if we have a look at things, we've lost... We lost 3,000 men on that already. But they're losing a ton more than me. Oh, they're, they're sending just wave... Like, it's like 10, 10 armies. Like I said, um, 10 armies against a fortified position like this. Or 10 units, I mean. Isn't going to do anything. Alright, good. So if we have a look at their uh, their positions, they outnumber us by more than what the uh, the Soviets did. But the Soviets would have had better equipment, I think. And certainly more factories. That needs to be taken into account. Let them wear themselves out. So China has 416 divisions. Siam 63, People's Republic of China 81. In total, about 500 divisions. Just let them wear themselves out. They're not, they're not being anywhere near as aggressive as, um, as Soviet Union. It's, it's probably because their, their um, aggressive plan hasn't come into action, come into play yet. They haven't got all their planning bonuses. Losing some men, but they're not really doing anything. Anyway, it's not really about the manpower loss, it's about losing the uh, equipment. We've got we've got enough equipment to resupply everyone, buddy, twenty times over. They haven't even got enough to equip what they've got. Plus they're taking attrition. How's our supplies? Supply lines are reasonably good. Be nice if it was better. So where's my air force that I set up here? Maybe, yeah, just focus on this area. Hmm, they're not attacking. Still, they've lost 152,000 men. I tell you it would be good for us to send like a group of troops in through here and cut off all these motherfuckers out there. Just pocket them, big time. And... Did we quite... I tell you what... What level are you? Level 8, yeah, it, it de definitely makes sense to use the him. Because that, that is that's a very experienced general. So he's got defensive doctrine. Reinforce raid, own combat width, that's excellent. Planning speed, division recovery, yeah, he's great. I don't want anyone else commanding my troops. Okay, I want you guys over here, because my plan is to cut in through here, cut down to there, and just pocket all of these fuckers here. Hopefully. The problem here, though, is that this territory is it's not really part of China. They're, they're just occupying it right now. They need a peace treaty with, with Japan. Fall of Manila. Ah, oh, the, Jap the Japanese have uh, changed their plans. Fine by me. They want to capture this. No problems from me. Okay, all I want is those... those new guys here. Wait, what? Speed 
joints our lows. Oh, damn. So, more people are joining the allies. Fine by me. Give them a front line. Here. And I'll get them to attack shortly. See, that there looks like it'd be easy to kill. I bet some tanks would help us out, but I haven't researched tanks, so I've only got garbage. We really wanted to focus on what, what was going to be available quickly, because we couldn't delay when it came to dealing with the Soviet Union. We'll eventually catch up with tanks, but there's no point purchasing tanks now, because it'd be horribly outdated. I mean, the tanks that we've got available. And I'd, I'd much rather focus on, on getting a superior air force. Just go straight to jet engines, basically. So this one here, man, that's way ahead of schedule. But at the same time, if we get that, even if it, it's not going to take us a thousand days, but if we get this before anyone else, that'll give us a huge advantage in the skies. Alright, enact the plan. Okay, stop the plan. That was shit. You'll do as I tell you to do now, then. Shit. Doesn't quite work the way I want it to. Oh, God damn it. I guess this is where it benefits like putting it in a different army, but that being said, you know, we just get so much better stats being in this guy. So what's their, what's their planning bonus right now? Forty-four out of fifty. All right, got a punch through here. I managed to recruit another load of twenty. They make it 40. Okay, so we've got the equipment for it. How long will that take to recruit? Uh, 6th of December 1945. Yeah, that's fine. Now, here's the problem. This is not a defensible position. Oh, and also... Supplies. Ah, uh, but now they're attacking us a bit more aggressively. This is what we want to see. We've provoked them. Oh, shit. Shit. I needed more troops over there. That's not going well at all. If we have to give up this area here, it's not a big deal. Go back to Vladivostok. Well, the Chinese are doing a lot better than the Russians did, that's for sure. Get back, get back, get back. See, they're, they're, they're going to get pocketed if they're not careful. Get back across this river. Get, get across the river. Just give them that position, doesn't really matter. So if you look at this, how much is it costing them? Oh my god, half a million already. They're moving quickly. Fall back to here. Why aren't you allowed to retreat there? Go, go back there. Same with you. Get back over here. Should have put more troops along the borders here, or more fort levels.
So it's all just, it was all just planes, there was no additional defensive position. At least here there's hills, that's something at least. They'll have a hard time crossing over that river. How's they going everywhere else? Yeah, everywhere else, this this was our weak spot. So they're not going to get us anywhere else. So looking at this now, oh, 40,000 men to, yeah, but look at them, 70, 700,000. Then we'll need someone over here, because we can't let them get around us. Well, maybe we can. Oh, well, hang on. We don't have the numbers they do. So maybe not a good idea. Get over here. This has allowed us to concentrate our line a little bit more as well. Okay, what do I need to do? Quickly fortify these areas here. As much as possible. I'm sure you'll get there first. Just retreat, doesn't matter. I need to send two of the, or just a few of them over here, because they're weak spot. I need them to redistribute more of their troops over here, so we need to... Oh, they've been pushing us back. Oh, no, they didn't. It's just the front line. Positioned themselves differently. It's okay, just, I'll just leave that be for the time being. Now, the problem here is that while it's under attack, the fort won't be built. Doesn't look like they're going to get across here. Good, they're wearing themselves out big time now. Yeah, this was this is that this was our major weakness here. I shouldn't have built any forts along here. I should have just built them here. Just forget about Vladivostok. It didn't matter in the first place. Should have chosen a much more defensible position. Good, they've already built. Built some fort levels here. I mean, they're damaged, but then they'll just get repaired and be built on top of it as well. Let's let's actually max it out completely. Because this is our weak spot. This is our Achilles heel. If this is fortified to the hilt, then they're not getting through here. And if they want to, if they want to punch through here, we can turn our weak spot into our strength. And they've already wasted a million troops. But they've already done better than what the Russians did. The Russians never took a single territory. They didn't stand, not for a single day, in, um... Oh, hang on, they pushed us back here. Fuck, communists. Yeah, the Russians did stand in our territory, not for a single day. But that was a pretty bad position to hold, actually. Because they're able to hit it from there. Multiple spots. Maybe some more troops might have been a good idea. Because the thing is, you know, they're, they're troops. They've just, they outnumber us by so much that they can just throw wave after wave at us. We just need to make sure we've got enough here for reserves. Okay, yeah, they're not getting through this. This is fine now. Maybe I should build force here. Well, what's, this, this, this land here means nothing. Just, just pull back. To a better defensible position. And now we just wait, let them let them wear themselves out. Shouldn't take too long. See so they've already got pretty bad uh, bad supplies. It doesn't matter if they outnumber us five to one. If they've got no equipment. 
Don't, yeah, that never gets through now. And once their attacks die down, th then it's time for us to make the, the attack. Okay, hang on. We've got, we got a situation over here. Send some half of them over here. Can't let them take that. Just get rid of this. See, planes are not particularly defensible, so we built the forts here in the first place. Maybe I should have bought more, um, purchased more than two fort levels because they get damaged quite easily. So maybe that's what I'll do. Put an additional two fort levels everywhere. Just to make doubly sure that these guys get fucked up. It would have been good to have, have done this in the first place because I don't need to be building these things. Oh, I didn't need anything there. Okay, we've got nothing but victories across the border. That's good. God, the infrastructure's fucked. Oh, if the infrastructure's fucked, that means that the supplies... Yeah, we've got bad supplies. That's how they were able to get through here. So what can we do to fix this? 20% of previous infrastructure comes from where? So if we increase that, we'll get more. Damn bottlenecks. I have to build infrastructure all the way back to goddamn Poland. Back to Warsaw. I mean, eventually these attacks are going to die down. We should be okay. I can't research any more logistics company, can I? No, it's all done. So let's reduce their logistics need by 40%. Their supply needs. And despite the fact that they've taken some territory, so war is 3% in favor of the aggressors, really, they've taken some territory off us, but the fact that they've lost 2 million men Yeah, they don't have as many factories as what the Russians did. Let them wear themselves down. The attacks are starting to die down a little bit now. And Japan has taken it upon themselves to reinvade China, which is not what we want. We're bloody defending ourselves. We want to. We want to gain China, and now that um, they're attacking us, I don't want Japan to win. I'm not doing this for Axis. Okay, what what I should do is wait until this this uh, Japan inv Japanese invasion fails. Before I uh, before I continue to attack China any further, or even pull some of my troops out of there, so they send more down this way. Because this this invasion here should fail. It would certainly fail if I, fail if I wasn't there. Oh wow! Someone's dropped a nuke. Well, it wasn't on me, so I don't care. On Palo, well, I don't. I don't know where that is. I don't know who's got the nukes. 
wasn't on the uh, the Germans. It wasn't on the Japanese. It wasn't on them. It was on the Japanese. That's weird. So now, now we're creating nukes as well. Well, once we start actually producing, we've got to get the nuclear factories done first. This is all done here. I, I don't, I don't need that. If the Japanese start winning, I'm just going to make a mad rush to try and to get in as much territory as we can. Didn't come here to help them. I didn't sacrifice 60,000 good Polish troops so the Japanese can take it. Like I said, I don't think the Japanese will win here. Because they've only got one port. Well, actually, they've got two ports. He just won't be able to get enough supplies in there. The German invasion here completely failed. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything left for me to do. Good. That means I start getting more political power. Not that we really need that, either. Seems to be a stalemate here. They're not gaining much territory. Oh man, look at that, there's a nuke. I wonder who dropped it. Couldn't possibly have been the US. It just, I don't know why, why would you nuke Okinawa? Doesn't seem like an important territory to bomb. Okay, most of those forts are done. Oh yeah, we put on hold all the nuclear factories. These guys can't stay here. The the supplies are shit. Get them over here. We'll see about cutting our way through here soon, maybe. Yeah, look how shit these units are. All right, let's let's start a front line with these guys here. No, 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 no. Cancel that. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, we'll have to make it a custom one. And then also an aggressive line. Yeah, with their equipment levels this low, we should be able to cut through them pretty easily. It says here the strength rating is good. Attack them where they're weak, not where they're strong. They're strong over here, they're weak here. Go. So we'll probably lose a lot of men doing this as well, but... Well, that's what it costs. 
Anyway, we've still got uh, 2.48 million men in reserve, and we've... We haven't really lost that many. We're, we're good. Our army size is 2.5 million as well. Oh wait, no, no, hang on. In the field, 2.1. And there's still more men training. Oh shit, no. We don't want another 40. I was wondering why it went down by so much. Um, I do actually get one more load of 40 and then we'll just leave it at that. Good, we have actually overrun some of their units. That's good to see. So let's give me for non-aggression packs, it's not gonna happen. Good, we're, we're gaining a little bit of ground, it's not heaps, but... It's a start. Fall back. It's a silly move to attack that here. There's this many bloody... People's Republic of China fuckers there. Yeah, it's always going to cost a lot of troops to, to do this, but we're winning the war now. Bad supplies. Well, they continue to waste their equipment over here. That's good. It makes me wonder how Japan hasn't conquered more because if the if the Chinese really have this this shit equipment, I'm sure the Japanese could be able to beat them with ease now. Maybe they're just getting overwhelmed by sheer numbers. Fuck China. That's all I'm gonna say about China. Fuck China. I wouldn't mind also getting slammed. Don't they have lots of rubber? Oh yeah, they do have lots of rubber. But it doesn't matter anymore because they just made like a, a ton of factories. So look at all the oil we've got. Probably produce more than the bloody US now. Oh, I don't know. They, they, they probably produce quite a lot. How many times is the Philippines going to capitulate? So where did those troops go? Over here. Bring him in. To this front line. Good, we're making good progress here. And we've even got some of the People's Republic of China territory. Now, I'm pretty sure their most populated territories are like around here. 61 million people here. There's no more text for us to provide ourselves with more manpower. So from here on out, if we want to increase our manpower, we have to um, we have to go into like service by requirement. But there's, there's obviously no need for us to do that right now. That would fuck us up quite a bit. Anyway, we've only lost a hundred thousand. That's one. 20th of our total manpower, but 125th. Very good. Plus, you know, after, um, we, we basically gain about, I'd say about 96, 96,000 troops per year. 1946 now. World War II's gone on longer than we're not supposed to. Still fighting Yugoslavia and the and the Greeks, but it looks like it's going to be done soon. And they're they're starting to actually push into uh, 
into Egypt. Good for them. Kind of rooting for Axis, because I want to take on Axis. If the Axis forces can take on... Oh, I don't want them to actually beat the Allies. Because then I've got to beat the beat uh, the Germans with when they're holding like uh, the US as well. I'd say we've won this war now. I mean, not like right now, but if we can take this much ground relatively with this much ease, we'll take the rest of it in time. Okay, I want half of you to come and join over here. Ah, oh, shit. That's not what I want to do. So which is the one that has nothing? This one here. Alright. Delete that one. Good. Troops, but they're losing lots of territory. They're losing more troops than us as well. Let me capture this. So they're struggling a bit over here. Maybe we should get them to stop. But they're still gaining ground, so let's keep going with that. And this is, of course, depriving them of probably not that many factories, but still, every factory we deprive from them and every resource is. We haven't gained any resources out here yet. Yeah, but every resource we take away from them, less guns that they can produce for their troops. Because it doesn't matter how many men they've got, without guns they can't fight. Alright, I'll get them to stop now. Okay, next offensive line will be will be that. But give them some time to to um, recover first, and you know get get the planning bonus underway. So let me just see. Click on one of them. How much of their planning bonus have we got? So yeah. They're at zero percent. Let them build up a bit. Haven't prepared at all. Okay, now they're preparing. That's good. Now it's going down. Probably just because they, they're getting reassigned to different positions. civilian factories. I think I'll just make some more civilian factories just because I don't know, I like them. Maybe some more nuclear reactors because I might nuke the Germans. We'll see. Like I said, we don't need any more military factories. If we're going to get any more military factories, just get them from the people that we conquer. Okay, I think you're ready to go, so go. 140,000. We might end up losing more men against the Chinese than we did against the, the Russians. And the Russians are a superpower. 
Um, but then again, if, if you wait long enough, China can actually end up becoming the most powerful faction. Well, really any faction can do that. They have the highest manpower of any, any faction. Except for maybe India. But India starts off as a puppet. Well, they just got nukes. So that tells me that the Japanese have nukes. I hope we can get to Nanjing before, before the Japanese do. I'm not, I'm not here fighting for them, I'm here fighting for me. Alright, so we're done with, well, with some of these lines here. So let's start uh, building up our tanks. I'd rather go for heavy tanks. I may not even ever get tanks, I'll just research it just in case. Strength rating is way in our favor, so no need to stop. Keep killing the Chinese fuckers. How's our supplies going? Not great supplies over here, but as they continue to conquer more of it and fix it up, I'm sure they'll be fine. I guess that'll be the good thing about when we go and take on the, uh, the Germans. At least we'll be able to supply our troops very easily. Major victory point, but it's not their capital. Okay, People's Republic of China isn't going to last too much longer. That's outside of the attack zone. So just looking at this, so how much of the non-core population do we recruit? So half a percent. So we've got 258 million people in as non-core population. After we've conquered China, it could be close to a billion. 0.5% of a billion is about 500,000, I think. Well, that's still a, That's good. That's more than we've lost against them so far. adjustment on this. Shit. Stop, 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 stop. Delete this. Hold your positions. Just get into position. Well, we'll just redraw it. That's the next position. 
So what's the planning bonus? Oh, they've already got plenty of it. Don't worry about this. I mean, we could actually get these guys over here, actually, because they're not doing anything. Okay, just keep going. So if they manage to succeed here, that'll be the end of uh, Communist China. Fuck them. So we don't want to attack this, because this territory here is not really worth much to us, because this is going to get handed straight back to Japan. Trying to occupy as much of this territory. Denmark joins Axis, interesting. Huh. The United Kingdom actually declared war on Denmark. Maybe they want to go through Denmark to get into Germany. Well, there goes Sweden. I mean, sorry, Norway. I wonder which side Finland's going to join. I don't really care, one way or another. Two hundred thousand men dead. Good thing we got field hospitals. Come on, make the make the damn communist Chinese. Because if we can get rid of them, that means we've, I think, eradicated pretty much all major communist parties. Japan's trying to retake its positions in Korea. If, if the Japanese were to nuke Nanjing a few more times, maybe the unity would go down and... It's already gone down a little bit, and we could just get them to surrender. So that's worth 20 victory points. How much is this one worth? 20 as well. Like I said, I want to get to Nanjing before they do, before the Japanese do. Come on, guys. Where is it? Join this. Never fight a land war in China. Yeah, well, I've proven that wrong. Yeah, the losses sting. I really don't like seeing 250,000 of my people killed. But it makes me happy to know that 4 million Chinese are dead. That's a drop in the ocean for the Chinese. The problem with them, though, is their equipment. Start getting some ships. We'll start researching them at least. Which is then we don't need ships to take out Germany either. This is just providing us with something to do until we're ready to go and hit Germany. This could actually be detrimental though, because once we declare war on Germany, Japan's going to have a go at us. But if I just leave a couple of units at each of the ports there, what are they going to do? Then again, there's a lot of ports. Because this, this war here is going to deplete our manpower. But with more factories, we'll be able to certainly out-equip the, the Germans soon. Alright, so what do we want to make? How are we going with the, with the planes? See, I wanted to produce these three. Fuck everything else. That's still going to take a little while longer, yeah? The thing is, we can, we can stop 
production of support equipment at any time uh, for all of it, and we're, we're never going to run out of it now. So, what else should we produce? Guess. Oh, this wouldn't hurt. Because it's never going to be outdated. That's why we're producing that and nothing else. Produce things that aren't going to be outdated. I keep my army nice and shiny and technologically superior to the enemies. I don't want any, any crappy equipment. No point wasting factory stuff making tier 1 anti-air. Who cares? Oh look, they've given they've given this up. See, it's not quite as strong along this line here now because you know they, they give, they've given this up. The problem here, though, is every every one of these territories that we take here, we're just basically giving them back to Japan. I kind of wish the Chinese would, would kick the Japanese out. Because when, when they surrender, the Japanese are going to have a little bit of a claim. I'll just speed this up. So this faction here... Manchukuo, still part of Axis, so yeah, this will be handed back to them. Hungary joins Axis. Great. That means the um, the guarantee from the UK is gone. Um, cancel boost popularity. It should be pretty easy for us when we declare war on access to take Hungary. It does, they're not going to provide much to help the, the Germans. Bounce of power way back in our favour. All of this is crumbling. People's Republic of China will be the first to surrender, I think. We probably don't even need to fight in Siam. All we need to do is defeat China, because they're the only major faction in this, I think. And then we get the whole lot. But then again, if we don't take any of Siam's territory, then we don't, we don't get any of it. So maybe we should... Even if we just hold one of their territories, we can get the whole thing. Alright, we're getting some ports. Okay. Just just get more convoys for the time being, just because this these are all gonna be outdated soon. Alright, so the men over here. Set up another I only need a little bit of the territory in Siam in order to make them surrender. They got 62 divisions there. Yeah, don't don't launch that attack. You just stay there defensive. I mean, it'd be good to take them on, but we don't have to. We could always just declare war on them afterwards, because they'll they'll be part of the um, they'll be the the leader of the Chinese United Front once China has surrendered. So let's have a look here. Didn't seem to get rid of their national unity at all. By getting nuked. Come on, I said I wanted to be done with this war by the end of the episode. Well, 
Once they've surrendered, that'll be 81 divisions out of play. They keep losing more divisions. Good. I guess we're overrunning quite a lot of them now. And look at this, there's nothing over here. That's it. They might be trying too hard to defend against the Japanese. Perfect, that's what I want them to do. Don't let the Japanese in, let me in. Japanese have retaken Korea, but that's it doesn't really matter, that's part of their own territory. I bet uh, the Germans are like, fuck, if we could just get Poland to join us, we'd win this war easily. Nope. Because I'm gonna go kill you. You're next, Germany. It was two years to do this. I feel like we, we beat the, the Russians quicker. Okay, we did lose more troops against the Russians. It was like 500,000. Nearly 500,000 we lost against the Russians. The Russians were fucking idiots at the start. This was easier though. That's actually part of Japanese territory. Japan's supposed to have claim on that. Well, I'm not giving it back to them. I mean, I'm not until the war's over. I won't have a choice then, because I'm not at war with them. I guess, yeah, the Japanese, in a way, are really helping us, because I imagine there's a lot of Chinese here, and it's just allowing us to roll right over them. Doing. Get rid of it. Make a mad rush to Beijing. Quit moving around, just get in there. Got the Chinese on the run, you want to keep repositioning? Just fucking attack. Thank you guys, just, just get a bunch of them to make a mad rush to Nanjing, because that'll make them surrender. Doesn't look like there's going to be any resistance in the way. Very close to surrendering now. Oh, that's anti air, I don't want that. That makes them more motorized, even though I don't really use them. Well, we've only got 80,000 of these trucks in, um, in reserve. I don't think we've even researched naval invasions yet. Didn't need them. It's a race to Nanjing. See who can get there first, the Polish or the Japanese. Make sure you keep the supply lines as open as possible. So there will be some resistance getting to Nanjing, but you know, they've they've got no equipment left. They're fighting with pitchforks now.
What the fuck are you doing? How long will it take to get there? Two days. Don't get there first though. Keep getting more bloody factories. I don't need them. China has capitulated. Good. I didn't even need to get to Nanjing. So here we go. So Japan's gonna get look at this. They get just as many points as we do, just about. Probably because they lost so much territory. Alright, so how are we gonna do this? If I take all states. Oh, I can't do that. So they've already they've set up to puppet Siam. Alright, well we gotta claim the resources, so how are we gonna go about this? Can I claim this? Oh I can. Because I'm occupying it. So that's owned by Japan. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. That'll, that'll take it away from Japan. Oh, I can't actually take all of it. Alright, end that turn. Pass again. Getting territory that I want. Oh, they've already claimed some of that. I'll take this so they don't get it, and that. Prevent them from gaining the resources. Oh, crap. So I guess they've puppeted the rest of it. I feel like I didn't get what I was owed with that. But they, they must have lost millions of troops. There's nothing left to be had. So they got little bits and pieces fr from um, from there, but we've deprived the Japanese of, of valuable territory. Reorganized nationalist China, so they're part of Axis now. I need my men to make it home. They, they can't leave the look of it. They'll need military access with, with Japan. Well, looks like they're fucking stuck here. That's, that's irritating. Nice. Free civilian factories. Um, keep making more nukes. How are we going to go about this? We've, we've essentially just made Axis more powerful, but at the same time we're, we're more powerful as well, of course. These guys here can't leave. I don't want to disband them. But supplies aren't good. These ones over here, they can at least... Oh, there's no ports here. So well, we need military access. So if I go to them, come on, Japanese, don't be a stingy cunt. Give me military access so I can get my forces out of your land. I 
Okay, if we improve relations with them, I might be able to get it. Hold our claimed provinces. Okay, Yugoslavia capitulated. Good for Axis. How are the Americans doing? So they're on service by requirements. They've still got a lot of troops. Holy crap. I really don't need that many nukes. Maybe it would be a good idea to build up infrastructure. Don't really need it up in Siberia. Okay, what I'm going to do... Because I know that uh, these guys here, they've got low supplies. If I disband them, because I don't need them, the others will have a few more supplies. Because they're getting all the supplies from here. And these guys here, I need to build a port. Oh, hang on. That needs to be built first. Once they're b built, I can transport them out of there. When it comes to war with Japan, I don't care if they hold this territory here. I just held it so that they didn't get those supplies. Um, yeah, frontline all across there. So now that it looks like the British troops, they're coming into the Sia Siamese Empire here. Maybe they'll take out um, Indochina. Uh, then again, I did deprive um, Japan of a vassal. Nearly two. much more I can do to declare war on anyone anyone else the the, um, the China United front is gone Tibet's not worth much most of the world hang where's the thing for factions there if you have a look at this we got Axis allies. How <laughs> the United States are invading uh, uh, what's it Iceland. Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. Fuck. All right, take all these guys. Time to send them over to Germany. And I think it's time, it's time to build forts all along here. It's it's time. Time to deal with Germany. So I want this 10 out of 10. I don't want them having any chance of getting through here. Since we've got so many civilian factories, I don't even know what else to build. This seems to be the best option for me. Do, do we really need Bohemia? No. It would, we'd be better off holding onto a defensive position. We don't have to build as many forts. Across here. 
and into Hungary. Probably not necessary. No, I'll just build them anyway. So when is this getting constructed? It's almost done. And the English, or the uh, the British are invading this area anyway, so... Whatever. Axe is still not winning the war. I think we should also build anti-air over there. Probably not built there. Um, since we don't have our aircrafts quite ready yet, and I'm sure the, uh, the German Air Force is going to bomb the crap out of us, we might as well try and mitigate that as much as possible. Okay. You... These guys don't have supply issues now. When I declare war on um, Germany, I'm gonna need more troops over here, aren't I? Um, let's let's recruit some more. Another group of forty should be fine. I reckon we need 80. To cover this area here. These guys here will also stay in the area. It says here that the, the troops that we've got over here... Oh, they're still on their way. That's going to be more powerful than what Japanese got. Now, of course, what we're going to have them do is just waste their manpower and their, their resources to begin with. over here. Ah, oh, crap. There's these guys over here. i got to get them out. Hold our claimed provinces. Oh, like, eh, I should, maybe should have taken that. So, asking for military access, yeah, this, we're just a little bit out of that. Just ask for it anyway. I think what I need to do is actually disband them. Oh, they're encircled. They lose all of their equipment and 80% of the manpower. Motherfuckers. Well, when the time comes for them to escape, they're just gonna have to, um... They're just gonna have to charge right through the lines here. It's their only hope. Same with these. This territory... I shouldn't have claimed these territories. That was silly. It's not worth it's not worth losing men over uh, a few just a handful of resources. So what you guys will do is you'll form a defensive position here. 
I don't think I need to use forts against Japan. I, I can't imagine them to be overly powerful. If they couldn't take on China by themselves, there's no way they'd be able to take on us. Okay, I just wanted them to get over here. I'll sort it out from here, because we want to play this defensive to begin with. So where are we most likely to take damage? Probably from over here. Send some of them over there. So I'm not going to declare war on Germany, not until the forts are built. Maybe I should prioritize a bit more. Whoa, Berlin got nuked. Alright. That that would have had to have been the US or something that did that. Alright, so prioritizing the forts. If I wait too much longer, the war will be over soon. I'm going to get, get Danzig back. They haven't put that many units on, on the border here. Alright, as soon as maybe they're recruited, I don't think it really matters too much if these if these forts don't all get constructed. Some of them will be done already by that time. Okay, we're also gonna need a bunch of troops to take out Hungary. And need troops on the border here of Italy as well. The thing is, them putting troops all across our borders here, it's weakening their positions elsewhere. Oh, that's fuck them. I don't even need them. They were a bloody mistake. We clearly don't need this many troops here. They don't even have anything there. So let's take them out and put them somewhere else. I'll bring them over here. Why don't they go and get around Hungary? They'll need, we'll need more than that, but at least that's a start. Yeah, I think the Germans are really struggled to get across, especially with the forts here. I know it's not the perfect defensive position here just yet. But then again, with every passing day, there'll be a stronger fortification here. Do you think I've got 1.6 manpower left? Well, we put 700,000 in training. 80 more divisions. Because I can't declare war on any any of these without declaring war on all of them. We're gonna need some troops over here as well. All in due time. 
We're only 12 there. I'll send send these these six to go and defend at this position here. I don't expect much from Turkey, but even if they've got a handful of troops, I don't want them walking into my oil fields. Oh, we're at an hour and we're past an hour and a half. I'll just do a little bit more, get things a little bit more organized before we uh, end the episode. So the next episode, we basically go almost straight into war with with them. The longer we wait, the more fortified we'll be. Oh, there's a lot of forts to make. Maybe I shouldn't have gone level 10 in all of them, because that takes a long time to build. Prior is the ones that we haven't even started building forts in yet. There's no rush. It doesn't look like um, it doesn't look like Germany's losing anytime soon. The Allied invasions aren't, aren't progressing that well. How's the UK going with its manpower? So they've got they're on uh, service by requirement with seven hundred thousand roughly in reserve. Same with them, except 4.34 million. God damn it, they're not going to let us out. I definitely shouldn't have taken this territory here. Should have gone for more of... Even though this territory out here is worthless, should have just gone for that. Well, at least we've already got forts built up here. They just can't supply themselves from here. They're probably losing, losing their equipment because they're taking attrition. But if I disband them, they're all gone anyway. So that, that was silly. Prioritize forts that haven't even begun construction yet. Better that we build everything to level 3, then have half of them at level 10, and half not even built at all. Don't create any weaknesses. I mean, we shouldn't even need them at level 10. But this would be the final one, so let's, let's make it count. Of the borders there. How many units does Hungary have? Well, the Germans are actually occupying this territory. They don't have very many. But they, they've barely got any factories, so they, they can't produce enough equipment. 
It would have been great if we could have taken them out at, at the start, but... England, uh, the UK cock blocked us, the motherfuckers. They shouldn't have done that. With 100%, sorry, 117% war tension, yeah, the UK will cock block us every time we even try to do something. Because I'm just thinking, I'd like to take these, because it won't cost us much manpower and a few extra factories. And if I convert them to fascism, well, they're just going to join Axis. divisions do the Japanese have? And what are they doing with them? Between 202 and 320, so I possibly have more troops than them. They're not scraping the barrel, so they're factory output, which is absolutely terrible. I don't know why they'd go to such high recruitment laws. It fucks up their economy, when they probably didn't need to. Oh, they're actually invading the UK. I don't think I've ever seen the AI invade the UK before. I don't think they'll succeed. I don't think being on 5 times speed is any faster than 4 times speed now, because there's just so much going on in the rest of the world. The engine can't, can't keep up with it all. Okay, I've definitely got some, like, frame rate loss. How the hell did the United States get a hold of this? Pretty funny to see Japan do a full out, full on invasion of the United States and actually succeed. Yeah, I didn't think Italy was going to succeed there, but at least they gave it a shot and lost however many thousands of troops. So, how is Italy going? They're on all adult serve. Yeah, they're... For them to be on 20% recruitable population and only have 2 million left, they must be pretty down on their luck. If I was just taking on Germany, I could easily win, but I have to take on the entire Axis forces. That's going to be difficult. I need to, I think I need to wait until the allies actually start gaining some, some real territory on them. Could I join the allies if I wanted to? Nope. Not that I want to, I was just curious. I could, you know, turn this around and go back to being um, democratic. Uh, it would actually be kind of difficult because of the national focus. Uh, the Indians are pushing over. Well, that's good. Because maybe I can get a military access with them instead. Nope. If they, if they just conquered all of this. Of 
Got to wait for the right time to strike. Now is definitely not the right time. I think I'll send half of those units over here. Estimated that we were going to end up with a billion um, non core population, not even half of that. But still, near 500 million is not too bad. Getting an extra 9,000 men a month. That's fine. Well, of course, while our enemies continue to fight each other. Although it's just, they're not really going all out. I want them to really start slaughtering each other. being a bit timid. Okay, I don't want this, um, this here anymore. Okay, if we were to attack through here, that'd be pretty easy. There's there's no defenders. What's Turkey got? Probably nothing. Details, they've they've got hardly any troops. And they're on all adult stuff. Yeah, because they've already lost the war. They've already been occupied before by Greece. of our troops come in first before we assign them anywhere. We can easily capture um, Korea. I probably don't need this many men here, but I'll sort that out later. Alright, so I said I wanted half of these troops to get over to here. Just get over there, we'll reassign them later. Actually, that's how we do. Because we cannot lose our core territories, that would absolutely suck. Losing any of Russia doesn't matter that much. So I think when we go to war with Germany, the first thing I think we need to do is actually reconquer China. Take the take the uh the Japanese out of mainland Asia. That way I can move a majority of these troops back over here, because all I need to do is occupy the ports then. They'll never get back a footing on the land. Then I'll be able to dedicate about 40 of these units back over here, take out the Neo-Ottoman Empire, squash them in, in here. This could be their major offensive here going on. Although I don't see any battles going on. Take out Italy. Well, this is going on, of course. They're just grinding up against our our wall of forts. Come up through Greece. Conquer Hungary. And create just... And all of those units then, just... Creating just a... Uh, a an, an easy to defend area across here. And then we just need to wait for them to create a weakness in themselves and then attack them. It could actually take multiple episodes. This is going to be much harder than taking on the... Um, the Russians, I think. We're gonna try and save these fuckers, that's gonna be difficult. I tell you what, you, you're gonna be needed for this. Your job is gonna to be to make a mad rush to get to them. Get supplies over to them so they can get the fuck out of here. Because all of their equipment and shit is deteriorating without supplies. 
I can't get them out because the fucking Japanese will not let us out. Clock suckers. How are we going with our constructions? Alright, well, at least some of the forts have been built. But there's still a long way to go. But once once it's all built to level 10, the Germans, they will not be able to cross over here. It'll all be up to them winning everywhere else. This is why we come up with, with plans for there. Over here, which is where the majority of our troops are, that needs to be defensive. I wonder if I should recruit more troops. I just... I think I want to leave some manpower in reserve. I think it should be pretty easy to beat Japan here. I mean, it wasn't that hard to conquer China in the first place. And Japan must have really worn itself out to be able to get that much war score, despite really not doing a whole lot in terms of occupation. I did the majority of the work and got barely anything out of it. Also, the longer we wait, the, the more the British Raj will come in over here and um, take them out, which will put less pressure on us. Because we can't just leave leave that undefended. I think I'm going to need more of these troops from over here. Just just ten of them will do. So we've got a unit on each of these. Yep. Heavily entrenched, they're not they're not gonna get over here so easily. I think building one level of forts across here might be a bit pointless, because they'll just they'll just bomb it and destroy it very easily. I hope they don't nuke us. Their national unity's gone down a fair bit, because they've been nuked a few times. Or at least once. I saw them get nuked once. And somewhat soon, I'll have the best air force that anyone can get. I'm not going to wait a whole year before starting the war. So over here, what you guys? Oops, yeah. And half of the, half of the. God damn it! What am I doing? Half of them doing that. The other half. Oh, that's, that's the whole line there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, spread them all across there. This will be our first priority. It's basically saving their ass and depriving Japan of these resources. I'm not interested in invading Japan. Oh, we're going to need some troops up here as well. So that's done. Loads of troops come over here. We take out the Neo Ottoman Empire if, if they're not able to do it by themselves. And then we kick kick the Italians out of the uh, out of Greece. And then then we'll have to make a plan for the German Reich. But just allowing them to grind themselves on our on our borders will be fine. We need to retake Danzig. Like I said, the point of this campaign is to outlast both the Soviet Union, outlast Comintern, and Axis. 
We've almost, we've at last had common turn. Actually, we destroyed common turn. It's now time to deal with Axis. I think that maybe taking on China was a mistake. I didn't really gain anything out of it, and in fact, all I've done is made Axis stronger by it. I have. I really didn't gain anything. I shouldn't have done it. Because if I had not bothered with it, I, I wouldn't have even needed to worry about Japan. I could have left a couple of troops there and not even bothered with it. And it cost me 300,000 men to take him on. An ultimately silly decision. Especially since China was beating Japan. So all I've done is waste time and make it more difficult for me. Because I also put a lot of resources into building these forts. Ultimately unnecessary. Now here's, here's another thing. If they nuke us, it doesn't matter if they drop our national unity down to 10%. Because for one thing, we have so many victory points that even if they take Warsaw, that wouldn't be 10% of our victory points. But another thing is that if they never gain any ground on us, it doesn't matter what our national unity is. So I'm sure that the Germans have learned how to use nukes now. The problem though is if they nuke areas where we've got troops, they can weaken us that way. That would suck. See, we've got nukes. I've got 29 nukes. Probably more than nukes than what they've got. But I can't, I can't land them because I've got no ships, no, no planes. Berlin got nuked again. So at two hours will end the episode. Very long episode, I suppose, but I'm sure you guys like that. Just give up, it's not worth defending it. If they take these regions here, some of the units are pocketed. Not worth it. See, they're okay, but there's too many of them here. The supplies from here isn't cutting it. Actually, no, I will... I don't, I don't think I need a front line, I'll just tell them to just make an attack. Because there's, there's no troops here, we'll be able to take that easily. Well, actually, don't rely on that, because I reckon they will eventually put troops there. So this is well. All of these guys here, they need to make a mad... Not you. They'll need to make a mad rush down south to rescue these guys. First priority, rescue them. Second priority, capture uh, Japan. Japan's holdings in Asia. Once that's done, we'll start making them, I suppose. Okay, I don't need that many units here. Let's take half of them, bring them over here. And that way, we have, I think, a sufficient number of troops over here to be defensive against, against Axis forces. Because they can't dedicate all of their troops here. They're busy fighting the Allies, which don't seem to be doing a very good job.
What happened to the infamous bloody American D-Day invasion? Nothing. Wonder how many troops they've got here. Hard to tell, got no intel. Actually, I got I got ships. Why don't we send a ship over here and go and have a look? Okay, we're at two hours, so we'll uh, we'll sort that out for next time. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part five is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.